guys, what's up? I'm Sam907 and I'm doing another LEGO review on LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean Isla de Muerta. And I told you guys yesterday that I would um, be doing this LEGO set review for a special as uh, um, for the movie release on Blu ray and DVD. And I also said I would tell you of my new. Um, so I'm going to be getting after Isla de Muerta, and that set is the Lego Power Miners, um, the, uh, mech thing, if you don't know that set, then yeah, you should probably check it out, it's really cool, so, yeah, so let's get into the review. So, uh, let's we'll start with the, like, instructions. They come in this cool plastic thing, they don't get bent up and stuff. You got like Elizabeth's one, you got Jack Sparrow, Barbosa. Turn it to the back. You have Jack Sparrow. And here you got Alien Conquest and other guys from the game, like I said. So you also get a poster which I'll show you after the review, so yeah, so here's the minifigures. You have Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow. You see he has a skeleton face and I didn't I got like there's a little a scratch on his eye or like the like the there's part of his like eyeliner stuff that got on his like eyeball. So looks very weird. But uh yeah. I really like his I this is my second Jack Sparrow. On the back if you, you see he has a nice face print. The other side, and he gets his he get his regular compass. Some nice back printing there. Nice sword. So yeah, that's Jack Sparrow. Now we have a skeleton Barbosa. He has a nice black sword holder. I do have a couple of the um, brown ones. He has a sword and a sword holder. You can just pull that out if you're careful. Yeah, just the normal pirate blades. I won't do that again with the other Barbosa because it takes a little too long. This one, I don't think I have a mess print. Might though, because you know I I don't know. But I might though, like on his face. They're all on his face. On their faces. But, yeah. Next minifigure figure we have is Hector Barbosa, not his skeleton version. Love Barbosa. He's my favorite character in Pirates of the Caribbean because he has his nice face print and. Sword holder, and I like his like road printing. Sorry about that, it's just my cat, I'll get him there sometime. And uh, so, yeah, yeah, it's a nice apple. I don't know what he's scratching, maybe he's... let me just see. Sorry, uh, yeah, there you go. So Sorry about that, really sorry. Um, but, yeah. Next, last minifigure, my favorite minifigure probably in the set is Elizabeth Swan. Um, I like her hair piece. She has a cool face. She's almost kind of like that. And then, scared face, which I don't exactly like that much. And I like how she has a little balloon there. And all the gold detail on the dress. Back printing. Uh, a little thing there. Yeah, I really like Elizabeth Swan figure, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And now onto the build, you get the smallest build is this little low boat. You have two little paddles there you can take out. A little clip in the back and a lantern to like that detail. Little benches for people to sit on and it's practically all you need to know. Here's this really cool part. So um, yeah, so here's a little casket with some gold coins in it, chrome gold coins. Really cool, you can, you, I think you're just supposed to go like that, or I think not take it off, but it's still good and fun. Let's look at this uh, chrome gold bar. I think, like, some versions have the chrome gold if you're lucky, and then the others don't, and the pearl, but uh, I like how mine has the crumbled and you have five twos ones and tens nice uh shiny gold pearl gold little 
things on the ground. I like this. It's probably the most use, uh, expensive part other than the minifigures. If you just wanted to buy this little casket, uh, it probably would be the most expensive. But yeah, so, and then the main build, uh, you have here, you have the second chrome gold bar, a little diamond, a um, little chalice, a bunch of gold scattered around, and you have a uh, just a torch and a little uh, spike there. And if you turn this around, you can see this cool feature. You just uh, I have to tip this down. Uh, you push, you hold, somewhere, and then you just you can just push, stay, and then you fall. And then you just I like how, I like how it just you get, how it just flips like that and then goes back. But yeah, that's basically it for that. All right, and then if you put Barbosa, put your Barbosa there, and then you put a skeleton horn on the back, you can quickly turn it, and it looks like he switches for him. So it's pretty cool. It's just a little, you know, little features. Uh, but I think you, if you get it, you probably get it for the gold and any figures. Cause okay. I got this because I really liked it. Not to celebrate. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. Make stay tuned for the Power Miner set, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.